Hi, this is Richard Hart from PSICompany.com here with another Marine Electronic product overview. We're talking about the Furno MFD BB. This is a black box uh, multifunction uh, interface and it is designed for the Furno Navnet 3D networks. Now, the, the term black box gets used quite a bit in the marine electronics industry, and what we mean in this particular case is this, this device is designed in a way that you can use an external monitor uh, to display the information that this device uh, uh, presents. You can choose the display. Ferno builds a variety of different uh, external monitors in the MU120C, the Ferno MU170C, uh, and the Inferno MU-155Cs from 12, 12 inches to 17 inches display, marinized and really ready to stand up in the marine environment. This gives you the capacity to use a very large uh, style presentation screen uh, for your information display. The MFD-BB is designed in the same way as the rest of the family of the Furno MFDs, uh, the MFD-8 and the MFD-12. Uh, the button configuration is identical, the uh, user programming again identical. You can also uh, use a variety of different displays around your vessel where you may have an MFD-BB in one configuration and perhaps an MFD-8 in a stateroom or in a smaller an area where space is an issue uh, and you need to be able to, to consolidate a bit. Uh, the MFD-BB allows uh, a lot of flexibility in terms of how the display works. You can physically have the controls slightly lower than the display and perhaps the display put up on the wall or in another configuration. A number of customers who have designer uh, installations really uh, need the flexibility of the MFD-BB. So we wind up actually selling quite a few of these. They're a very popular device where the customer wants control of how their wheelhouse appearance looks. Now the MFD-BB fully incorporates the full functionality of the Navnet 3D network allowing the, the, the famous Navnet 3D no delay chart presentation. Uh, the 3D chart presentation allows the user to use the pan and tilt functions of the Navnet 3D network. Uh, you will have a 2D uh, override capacity too so you can make your picture look uh, like a more conventional uh, navigation equation, but the Navnet 3D is a very powerful configuration in the chart plotter, fish finder modes where you physically want to see bottom top topography from perhaps another angle than the straight bottom down presentation. I think looking directly on uh, at those presentations is very meaningful and uh, helps skippers to determine a, a lot of very valuable information about uh, the bottom topography and what they're, they're looking for. The MFD-BB is very easy to use in that configuration. And of course, it also employs the roto key function, which allows you to scroll, scroll through multiple navigational source inputs uh, very quickly. And uh, my personal favorite, the, the hot pages configuration, which allows you to design the configurations that you want to be able to return to quickly in your, in your Ferno Navnet 3D configuration, bringing them back up with simply the push of one button. Now the MFDBB comes standard as a chart plotter, complete with charts for the continental U.S. Uh, you do need a navigation input. Uh, if you're looking for worldwide charts, we can help you get those. It's as simple as a download. Uh, we help customers all the time with this with this issue. Uh, and again, the MFDBB was set up to as a uh, for receiving navigation inputs from a variety of different sources. I'd like to review those quickly. Uh, the, one of the primary functions, of course, is the, the MFD-BB gets used for is to display radar, set, radar information. Verno Navnet 3D radar sensors come in a variety of different sizes and, and technical capacities. The, the, uh, they are the DRS-2D and the DRS-4D, which are radome style uh, radar sensors. Uh, then with the open array styles, the DRS-4A, the DRS-6A, the DRS-12A, and the Inferno DRS-25A. That gives you the capacity of going between uh, from 24 nautical miles on the lower end to 96 nautical miles on the higher end and from power outputs of 2.2 kilowatts all the way to 25 kilowatts in a superb ultra high definition picture. The Furuno Navnet 3D radar sensors truly produce a superior picture. Uh, they make an excellent presentation and again, on the MFD-BB, where you have uh, a choice about the display size, really allows you to see a superb radar presentation. Navigation inputs uh, can be handled through GPS. The, we recommend the Furno GP330B or the Furno BBW GPS uh, GPS receivers. Those are also lost. WAS equipped as well. Fish finding is another uh, workaday function of the MFDBB. You can employ the Furno DFF1 or the Furno DFF3. 
the DFF1 is a one kilowatt uh, fish finder. The DFF3 has capacity to switch up to three kilowatts in a variety of diff different frequency presentations. You can also display AIS information employing the Ferno FA150 or the Ferno FA50 black box or Ferno FA30 black box receivers themselves, again, to display on the Ferno MFD BB black box uh, dis multifunction display interface. Now, if you're looking for uh, satellite weather information, you can use the Ferno BBWX1. This is a satellite weather uh, sensor from the uh, Sirius Satellite Network. Uh, if you're looking for a local uh, weather information specific to your vessel or around your vessel, you can employ the Ferno PB150. Uh, this allows you to get temperature, wind speed, uh, barometric pressure, those kinds of things on a local basis. If you're looking for weather facts information, consider the Ferno Fax 30. This is a NavNet weather facts uh, receiver uh, designed to, to display the information right on the uh, MFDBB's display. Uh, the uh, Fax 30 uh, also will receive NavTex information, uh, making it a multifunction receiver as well. If you're looking for uh, heading sensors and satellite compass information, consider the Furuno SC30 or the Furuno PG500R heading sensors to integrate to your network. And of course, uh, ship's weather instruments, the FI30 series from Furuno, make an excellent addition. And of course, the, the, the other issue that comes up all the time in, in networked uh, marine electronics is uh, IP cameras. Uh, NavNet 3D allows you to display IP camera configurations. We recommend the Access IP cameras. They output the MPEG-4 uh, uh, data output, which is for displaying on the MFDBB display. Uh, we distribute the Access product, and uh, we love to help people with uh, IP camera questions. And so if you have any questions, please give us a call. Lastly, the, the MFDBB can be used for marine instrumentation, engine sensors, gauges, alarms, inputs, that sort of thing. Um, uh, not all um, outputs are designed necessarily to work with the MFDBB. If you have a question about that, give us a call. We can help you make the right configuration choices for getting that information displayed on your network. The last component of the, the Furnet NavNet 3D is uh, employing the autopilot. The NavPilot series is a full function marine autopilot series that was uh, designed to work in conjunction with the NavNet 3D network. It's a, it is a standalone device, but the displays can be uh, routed through the NavNet 3D information network, making the, the MFDBB a full functioned uh, navigation display, uh, giving you all the vital information you, you need available from, from one source. MFD BBs are very popular. Uh, we, they, they tend to sell quickly at Ferno. If, if you see an application coming for one, please let us know as soon as possible. Uh, we like to help with the installation configurations and installations. Uh, we're here to help. We get lots of questions about the MFD BB, and we have people standing by really ready to help you right now. So if we can be of help, please give us a call. This has been Richard Hart for PSIcompany.com.